What's up everybody, welcome back to the Oak Tree Football channel, and in today's video I'm going to be starting uh, kind of a new series on the channel, uh, that I'll, I'll make a video uh, every Monday or Tuesday, where I go through and give you guys my college football top 25 after the week, obviously college football, uh, in college football there's the top 25, uh, which decides a lot of things including the playoffs, uh, and today I decided to just give you my top 25, and I'm going to be doing this uh, every week for the rest of the uh, college football season from now on. So this is the week 7, uh, my college football top 25, right before week 7. Uh, it was a pretty good week overall. Uh, there are definitely some surprising ones in there. Uh, and I, before I get in, I want to say this will include Big Ten and Pac-12 teams, even though there will be less of them because they haven't played any games. Uh, but they will be included in this. But without further ado, let's get into number 25 to 21. Uh, at number 25, I have NC State, which may surprise some people, but I like the look of NC State so far. I believe they're currently sitting at 3-1. and one. Uh, They're coming off a pretty big win. I just like the way NC State has looked so far this season. And coming in on season, I really was not a big believer in NC State. I really didn't think they would be able to be that good. I thought they would be one of the worst teams in the ACC. But they've really proved me wrong this season. They've really looked uh, very solid. And I definitely think, uh, in my opinion, they deserve a spot in the top 25. Now, some people, I understand that may, they may not agree with me at that because there are a lot of other teams uh, uh, that I think definitely could deserve this number 25 spot that just uh, fell short of mine. But I think NC State, in my opinion, uh, is a top 25 team as of right now. Uh, next up at 24, I have Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech is coming. Uh, off a loss uh, this week, but I still think they are a solid team. They are coming off an awful loss against North Carolina, uh, but I think they played a solid game. They put up a solid amount of points, uh, in my opinion, um, and they, they looked pretty good, especially when Hendon Hooker came in. They were struggling early, but when Hooker came in, they it really started to turn around, and they looked, they looked pretty good. You know, I, I still don't think it was the best game. Obviously, they did lose. Um, but I, I like the way Virginia Tech uh, has looked this season. Obviously, they could have looked better last week uh, or this week. Uh, but I still I, I still think they're a good team. Definitely still think they deserve a spot in the top 25. Uh, and I have them at 24. Number 23, I have Minnesota. Now, Minnesota hasn't played a game yet. So it was hard to put them higher than this. But I think Minnesota is going to be a really solid team this year. I really like them uh, as a team uh, this season. Um, and some people may not agree with this one because obviously they're yet to play a game. But I think Minnesota definitely has a lot of talent. You know, Tanner Morgan um, and just to, uh, and among others. There's a lot of good talent on this team. I think this team is good. Um, and, you know, could could make a fight for the Big Ten Championship game uh, once the Big Ten finally starts up. At 22, I have Kansas State. I think Kansas State uh, has deserved to get into the, you know, top 25 for a few weeks now, which they haven't done. Beat number three ranked Oklahoma. Um, and then they've won their past two games as well, I believe. Um, I think Kansas State looks good right now. Um, they just come off came off a win against TCU. It definitely was not the uh, best win ever. It, they did have some struggles in that game, but I still think they were good. Uh, the final score was 21 to 20, uh, 14. I think Kansas State was uh, the better team in that game. Currently sitting at 3 and 1. They did lose to Arkansas State in the first game of the year, but they're on a three game winning streak now uh, against Oklahoma, Texas Tech, and TCU. I like Kansas State. I definitely think they deserve a spot in the top 25. I have them at 22. Uh, at 21, I have Tennessee. Now, this may be a bit lower than some people think, but Georgia, especially in that second half, absolutely destroyed Tennessee, and it really was not close. And uh, in, in week one for the SEC against South Carolina, Tennessee really didn't play that well either. They just barely won that game. So I just feel like Tennessee hasn't been as good as some people have said they have been this season. I still definitely think this is a top 25 team. It's still a very, very good team. Um... Who knows, maybe they can contend to win this division. I don't think so, uh, just because Georgia dominated in the second half. But it was a competitive game in the first half. Tennessee definitely played well, but like I said already, Georgia Tech started to pull away in the second half. I think I definitely think this team has a lot of talented players, uh, and I think maybe they could get a respectable 7, maybe even 8 win season this year. I, I really like Jared Guarantano as a quarterback. Not, well, I don't really like him, but I like him. 
Uh, and I think this team, you know, is solid. I definitely think it should be in the top 25. Moving on to the next five. Uh, and at number 20, I have Louisiana. Now, Louisiana has really been quite a big surprise this season. Some people may think that this is a bit too high for Louisiana. And I do understand that. But I think Louisiana is a good team. I think they've played well this season. They didn't play a game this week. Um, but they're playing on Wednesday against Coastal Carolina. A team who isn't on the top 25 but is 3-0 and and looks really good at the moment. Um, Louisiana, obviously, they had that huge upset win against Iowa State that destroyed Iowa State in the first game. Uh, and then they, they've had some close ones against Georgia State and Georgia Southern, but they have won both of those games, and they've had some promising-looking players. I don't know as much about uh, them as I do some other teams, but I definitely think Louisiana looks good at the moment, and I have them at 20. At number 19, I have Marshall. Now, some people may think this is really, really high for Marshall. Um... Some people don't even think this team should be in the top 25. But I think Marshall's been really, really good this year, uh, to be honest. Um, I, I believe uh, they're currently 3-0, and o, um, which obviously is very, very good. Coming off a huge win this week. Um, and in my opinion, they just look, they've just looked good. I haven't watched this team as much as I have some other teams. Um, you know, ICC teams or or ACC teams, but um, they they beat Western Kentucky 38-14, and then before that, they beat ranked Appalachian State 17-7, uh, and in week one, they beat Marshall, or they beat, sorry, uh, they are Marshall, they beat Eastern Kentucky 59 nothing. This team has just looked really, really good in my opinion, and I think they definitely deserve a top spot in the top 25. Moving on to number 18, I have Iowa State. Now, Iowa State, of course, had that big loss in the first game of the season, uh, but since, then, since that point, uh, they've looked really solid. Um, uh, they're probably one of the leading candidates to win the Big 12 this year because so many teams are playing poorly. I think the leading candidate right now is probably Oklahoma State, uh, but I think Iowa State is up there as well, along with maybe even Kansas State, uh, to be honest. Um, but Iowa State's looked good. Brock Purdy has looked solid. Brees Hollis looked really, really good. He's a very underrated running back, one of the most underrated running backs in the country. This offense is looking solid, and I think it's looking good as a team overall. Uh, and I do think Iowa deserves a spot in the top uh, 25. They beat Oklahoma, beat TCU, uh, coming off a win against Texas Tech. Currently sitting at 3-1, and one, I definitely think they deserve a spot in the top 25. Next up is Wisconsin. Don't really have much to talk about Wisconsin because they're yet to play a game, but I think Wisconsin a very good football team. Um, definitely one of the better teams in the Big Ten. They have a lot of talent. I think there are some missing pieces, which is why I don't have them higher. Um, and obviously they haven't played it, but I still think this team is really good, and I definitely think they deserve a spot in the top 25. Moving on to number 16, I have Miami. Now, some people may think this is a bit low for Miami because they were dominant in the first few games of the season. Um, but... Uh, well, I know they were dominant in those games because they were really, really good. But the reason I'm at 16 is because as soon as they played, you know, a pretty good team, they got destroyed. I mean, Clemson just, it wasn't even close. And uh, the, they played Louisville earlier. Uh, Louisville has not been very good this season. They played Florida State. Florida State has not been good this season. They played UAB. UAB is not going to beat Miami, honestly. Um, so, they really haven't shown to me that they can be good teams. And sure, they've dominated in the other games other than Clemson, which is why I think they still definitely deserve a spot in the top 25. But I think they deserve to be a little bit lower because they really haven't proved they can beat an elite team. And I know that Louisville was ranked when they played Miami, but Louisville really has not looked good this year, and I don't know why. Um, because I think they have some really talented players. But I think Miami is a bit overhyped. Uh... I, I definitely think they're a good team, but after Clemson, after the game against Clemson, I don't feel that they're as good as they once did. Moving on um, to number 15 and up. At number 15, I have SMU. Some people may think this is really high for SMU, uh, just like some of my other picks, but I really, really liked SMU uh, this season, to be honest. They are currently undefeated 4-0. and didn't play this week, but um, played before the few weeks before that. First of all, of course, they had that very close game against Texas Tech, or te sorry, Texas State in the first game of the season. They did not look good that game at all. But since then, they have looked really good. They destroyed North Texas 65-35. Um, they had a big win against SF Austin as well. Um, and then they beat ranked Memphis um, just last week. So 
I think this team deserves a spot in the top 25. I think they have been dominant this season other than that week one game. And I think they're a top 15 team. I am a lot higher on SMU than most people are, but I think this team is good. Uh, I think they deserve to be there. 14, I have Auburn. Auburn was lucky to win against Arkansas this season, or their uh, this weekend, and Arkansas is better this season, but still, Auburn should have won that game. They had that loss against Georgia. I'm really not convinced that Auburn's going to be that good this year, uh, but I still think they're a top 15 team. I have them at number 14. And number 13, I have Oregon. Uh, Oregon's yet to play, but I, I definitely think Oregon's the best team in the Pac-12. I am a big, you know, uh, believer in Oregon this year. I had them making the college football playoff before. Uh, you know, the conference games were canceled and everything, uh, and I definitely think it should be up there because they have a lot of really good talent, even though a few players have opted out. I still think this team is really good. At 12, I have BYU. BYU has really surprised me this season, uh, and 12 may be a bit high for some people, but I just think they've been great um, overall. Zach Wilson, their quarterback, has been fantastic. Um, he's Probably going to be a highly considered prospect in the draft now, which is really good for him. I just think BYU has been very good, um, and I think they deserve a spot in the top 25. At 11, I have Texas A&M. Texas A&M is coming off that big win against Florida. It was a close one, but A&M, um, I definitely think, deserved it. I had an A&M winning that game, uh, and they were able to come out victorious. It was a great game, um, and I definitely think A&M deserves, if not a spot in the top 10, just outside of that, and I do have them at number 11. Moving on. To 10 to number 6. And number 10, I have Cincinnati. Um, some people, in my opinion, are kind of overrating Cincinnati because I don't think they've proved too much yet this season. But this Cincinnati team still looks really good, uh, in my opinion. Probably the best group of five school right now. Definitely think they deserve a spot in the top 10. I was close to putting them at 8 or 9, but I did decide to drop them out of 10. Uh, speaking of number 9, at number 9, I have Florida. Now, some people may think this is a bit high for Florida, you know, since they just came off that loss, but it was a close game. I think Florida's been good this season. I, I don't really like their defense this season, but their offense is looking like one of the best in the country, to be honest. I think that offense alone uh, is enough to get them in the top top 10, um, in my opinion. And maybe you could say this should be a bit lower than this, but I think uh, it was such a close game. They played a pretty, pretty solid game overall. Kyle Trask is having an incredible season. Same with Kyle Pitts. Uh, I think they deserve to be here. At number eight, I have Penn State. I'm really high on Penn State. They haven't played yet this season like all the other Big Ten teams, but I think they have a lot of talent overall. I think Sean Clifford is a solid quarterback. Um, they definitely have some solid defensive players and some really good offensive players as well, like Journey Brown. I think this team is really good overall. At number seven, I have Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State did not look good in week one. Uh, but since then, they've looked really good, in my opinion, a top 10 team in the nation. Definitely the best team in the Big 12, which has been so bad this year. Um, but Chuba Hubbard is looking good, um, you know, as always. Uh, Illingsworth has been forced to play because of injuries, their quarter quarterback, Illingsworth. And he's looked solid. I mean, in that game against Kansas, he looked really good. And uh, against West Virginia, I believe he played pretty well. Uh, there as well, but I'm not completely sure. Um, but he definitely looked good against Kansas. Uh, Chuba Hubbard, like I said, is looking good again. I just think this Oklahoma State team looks really good right now. Definitely the best team in the Big 12. I'm at number seven. At number six, I have Ohio State. Now, I think talent wise, Ohio State is a top five team in the nation, but the reason I don't have them in the top five is just because of the fact they're yet to play a game. I think once if they start to play games and they start to win and proving themselves, They'll be a top five team, maybe even top four team in no time. Uh, but as of right now, I do have them at number six. Now, moving into the top 25, or sorry, the top five. At number five, I have North Carolina. North Carolina was very, very good uh, this week. They had a big win against ranked Virginia Tech, and I just thought that was enough to get them up high. Their offense looked incredible. Their defense, maybe not, but offense was out of this world. Their running game was fantastic. Sam Howell looked great as a passer. That offense was just incredible. And I really think North Carolina is a dark horse candidate for the playoff right now. I think they're one of the only teams in the nation that could knock off Clemson, to be honest. Um, and I think they deserve to be uh, in the top 25 because that performance this week, uh, especially offensively, was fantastic. Moving on to number four, I have another ACC team. I have Notre Dame. Now, I don't like Notre Dame as much as some people. I think they're a bit overhyped, but... I think they proved enough this season um, to, you know, be at number four for me. 
Um, they're coming off a big win against Florida State, which Florida State hasn't been great this year, but I think that was a really good game by them. Um, they ha they won against Duke earlier in the season as well. They've just looked good uh, overall, um, and their their defense looked really strong. Their offense at times has worried me a bit, um, but it looks good against Florida State, and it's looked good at other times in the season. I think Notre Dame is a solid team. I have them at number four. Moving on to number three, I was very close to putting this team at number two, but I decided to have them at number three. It's Georgia. Georgia's coming off that huge win against Tennessee, and I was kind—I kind of wanted to put them at number two, but I didn't. I've been a big believer in Georgia since, um, you know, for a while now, and I really—I I believe they will win the SEC this season. Even though in my official SEC predictions I did have Bama winning, I—I I do think Georgia has looked so good this season. Um, so far, I definitely think they'll be up there. They've beaten uh, ranked Auburn and ranked Tennessee. Uh, and before that, they didn't look good in the first half against Arkansas, but in the second half, they looked great. Sense and Bennett is looking surprisingly well. That defense is looking good. Uh, Georgia's just looking really good right now. Um, and the running game's looking better than I expected. Georgia's just looking fantastic. And they're definitely a top three team in the nation, in my opinion. Moving on to the number two team, the team that Georgia will be playing this week, Alabama. That is going to be a fantastic game. I'm so excited to watch it. Um, Alabama, they had a close one against Ole Miss, um, but their offense was just dominant in that game. Their defense was not looking very good, but that offense was fantastic. Now, she Harris had an incredible game. I believe he had 200 rush yards and five touchdowns. That is incredible. Um, Mac Jones is looking surprisingly good. I didn't believe in him very much, but he's looked very, very good. Um, 400 plus pass yards last game. And this offense is looking great. The defense is looking a bit rough, um, but they looked really good against Texas A&M uh, a few weeks ago. They looked very pretty good for the most part against Ole Miss. I think I was close to putting them at number three, but I think they're still good enough to be at number two. And number one, you already know who it is. It's Clemson. Uh, Clemson, for me, was already the number one team in the nation, and then they absolutely destroyed uh, Miami. Really was not a close game at all, for the most part. Trevor Lawrence is a fantastic quarterback. Travis Etienne had an incredible game. This team's just inc incredible on both sides of the ball, and I think they'll probably win the national championship as of right now. Maybe they won't because they haven't really played, you know, an SEC or an ACC, or sorry, an SEC or a Big Ten team. Um, but I, they just look so good, and I think this team is the best team in the nation. But uh, with that said, that is my top 25 for college football this uh, this week, and my top five, like I said, North Carolina, Notre Dame, Georgia, Alabama, and Clemson. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, and if you are new around here, feel free to subscribe for more NFL and college football content. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video.